Hello and welcome back to part 2. If you haven't seen part 1, I recommend you check the description and watch that first. Of course, feel free to skip around, but we're going to hop right into part 2 here. We're starting off at the 3 minute and 14 second mark of the actual song, just for reference. And now, even though the guitar technically isn't playing anything during this part of the song, we can still follow along the music. So here we go, up here on the fretboard. We're going to fret the 12th fret of the 3rd string, then the 13th fret of the 2nd string, right here, then to the 10th fret of the 3rd string, then the 11th of the 2nd string. Now play the 12th fret on the 3rd string again. Now put your pinky here on the 13th fret, slide it up to the 15th, back down to the 10, and slide that to the 8. Now here comes a part where I did bends because I did this part on electric in my cover, but if you're doing this whole thing on acoustic, you can just slide up to the note that you would bend to if you were on electric. So slide up to the 13th fret on the 3rd string, now to the 12, now slide up to the 12, now to the 10, slide down to the 8 and play it, hit the 10 again, hit the 8 and slide down to the 7, now play the 4th string now on the 10th fret, now play the 8th fret of the 4th string, hammer on to the 10. Now here is where I threw in a little pinch harmonic for the last note here, but to compensate for the lack of being able to do so, you can reach your index finger down here on the 1st string and play the 8th fret. All together, sounds like this. Let's move on. So now we're going to jump back down the fretboard, and this is where the actual guitar picks up in the original song, so now we're following along with the actual guitar. So we're going to plop down this shape here. This is the 3rd fret of the 1st string, the 6th fret of the 2nd string, and the 5th fret of the 3rd string. So we play the 1st string once, then the 2nd string twice, and then the third string ones. Now we play the third string once more and take our index finger and pinky off. Now plop down your middle finger on the fourth fret here and your index finger on the third fret all on the second string. So play that third string. Now the second. Pull off from your middle finger to your first finger. So. Play the 3rd fret, hammer on to the 5th. Now reach down with your index finger to the 3rd fret of the 1st string now and play that. Now we're going to do some more of this finger picking on the high strings. So leave your index finger there and put your pinky on the 6th fret of the 2nd string and play those two at the same time. Now bar your pinky across the 6th fret here, back to your original shape. My bad, not back to your original shape, but you play this instead, which is your index finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string and 1st string open. Now back to your original shape. Now. I like to do this part uh, still finger picking, but you could use your pick here if you want. You gotta pick the first string here. You're not changing shape on this hand at all. Now the second. Now you change shape here. You 
bring your index finger off and you just leave that open and you play it. Now take your pinky off and fret the third fret of the second string and play that. So. All together this part so far sounds like this. Now we have, in my opinion, one of the coolest parts of this song. Still quite easy though, and you can use your pick or you can use your finger. I like to use my finger. So, we coming off coming off this, we put down our middle finger on the fourth fret and pull off to the third fret. Now play second string open, and this is all done on second string. So play second string open and hammer on back to the third fret here. Now go up to now go up with your index finger to the fourth fret, hammer on the sixth fret with your ring finger. Now go up to the eighth fret, hammer on to the ninth. Now the eleventh fret, hammer on to the twelfth. Major voice crack, and now finally to the fourteenth. One. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The 16th fret, pull off to the 13th fret. So all together. Really cool stuff. So after we've done that really cool thing working up the fretboard, we stay up. So coming off this, we have to fret the 12th fret on the 3rd string. Now the 13th fret on the 3rd string. And now the 10th. And this is done in a rhythm like so. Now play the 10th fret on the 4th string with your middle finger. So Back to the uh, 10 on the 3rd. And you can keep these notes ringing out like so. Now play the 8th fret on the 2nd string. Now play the 8th fret on the 3rd string. Slide down to the 7th. Now play the 10 on the 4th. Now the 8th on the 4th, back to the 10. Now you're going to play down, you're going to plop down this shape, which is just what we've done. So we just strum a little bit from the 4th string to the 3rd uh, string. And all the way down to the 2nd now, after, the, after you strum it once. Now play the 3rd string. Now this, uh, the 8th fret of the 3rd string. Now back to the 10. Keeping this shape, and we strum down from the 4th string to the 3rd string, which we now fret on the 11th fret with our pinky. But we pull off there. So, so far, we have this. take our, all our fingers off except for our index finger, we pick this note, slide up to the 11, and play the 13th fret with our ring finger. And now we just repeat that process on the first string. So after that, again, we're thrust into a part that doesn't 
technically have guitar in the actual song, but it was still going to follow along with the music. So we come back down the fretboard and plop down our E suspended 4 shape, which is just like an E major shape, but we put our pinky here instead of our index finger back here. So it would sound like this. And we play those three notes there on the 5th, 4th, and 3rd string, all in that order. Now we take our pinky off and play the 2nd fret of the 3rd string with our index finger. Now, coming on the 4th string, we play it where it is, slide up to the 5, and then slide back down to the 3. Now we hit that note again, but now we gotta come up with our index finger to the 5th fret of the 3rd string. Now go 7, 8, 7, 5, 3, 5. Now to the 4th string on the 5th, uh, the 4th string on the 5th fret. Slide up to the 8. Play the 10. Now play the 10th fret on the 5th string. And finally play the 8th fret on the 1st string. And you should let those 3 last notes ring out. So in total we have So now the actual guitar picks up in the original song and coming off these three notes we take our index finger off, we leave our middle finger and our ring finger here and we put our pinky on the 11th fret of the 1st string. Now we're going to give this a strum from the 5th string all the way down but we have to make sure that the 3rd string doesn't ring out open. We don't want that note in there. And since our ring finger is fretting the 4th string here, we can just tilt it back a little bit so it's rubbing against the 3rd string. And that will effectively mute it. So we strum from the 5th string, play that, play the 4th, play the 3rd but it's muted, play the 2nd open, and play the 1st string, which you have fretted by your pinky on the 11th fret. And as you hit your first string here, we're going to slide our pinky down to the 10. Now play with your index finger the 8th fret. Now play with your pinky the 11th fret of the 2nd string, leaving your index finger here but taking your middle and 3rd finger off here. Now play your first string again. Now hop with your index finger to the Second, uh, second string, same fret. So. Now play the 10 of the third string. Now give it a little strum, leaving these two fingers here, give it a little strum from the third string to the second string. And as you I noticed I've put my middle finger here on the fourth string of the, the tenth fret of the fourth string, and even though we haven't played that yet, I'm just preparing for another strum. So we strum from the fourth string down to the second string. Just those three strings, no open. So as we hit that second string, we're going to slide our index finger up to the eleventh fret, and we take these fingers off. And then slide down to the 10th fret of that same string. So. so it sounded like that. Now we hop from here on the 10th fret down to the 8 again and we pluck that. Now again on the 10th fret of the 3rd string. Again give it a little strum. Now we finally resolve to the 10th fret on the 4th string. So far we have Now we just play that again. But instead
instead of resolving there, we slide down to the 8th fret and keeping our ring finger together with here we should be fretting our 8th fret on the 4th string with our middle finger and the 8th fret on the 3rd string with our ring finger and after we slide down we give it a slight strum from the 4th string to the 3rd string now we pull off on the 3rd string from our ring finger to our index finger here on the 7th fret pinky here we play the 10th fret of the 4th string to the 8 back to the 10. In total this part is So after that, bit of a tricky part there, it's uh, mostly silence, but we do have a little bit of a guitar part in there, so it's basically just playing around this little baby C minor shape, just like this, but we don't need the top two strings, so we can play it in this kind of shape. So it just is going a little strum from the fourth to the third string here, both on the fifth fret. Now we play this full chord. Now we play it, but we take our first finger off, leaving that first string open, and then we put our first finger back on. So. And then after that, we are thrust into the third chorus of this song, which is pretty much identical to the first time we play this chorus, but I'll play it real quick just to show you the very very slight differences which I probably botched in my cover anyway but let's go on so it goes from this but instead of going like this we do play that second string here just like we did that first time through just now. So the whole thing would be Now, if you remember from part one, the first time we played this course, we would go. We don't do any of that, we just stop it on that final hammer. So, we don't play that second string and we don't. We don't do that, we just stop on this note. So, after you've played the third course, that's pretty much the end of the song. So what I do here for this next part that I don't actually think is a guitar part technically on the song, but I play the uh, A shape, the A major shape here. And I just give that a slight strum from the fifth string down to the third string. And then I get my index finger ready here and take my uh, ring finger off and play that, which is just... So it goes from... And this is a prime example of why you play the A major shape like this and not like this. That drives me crazy. But anyway, moving on, we just do this. back to this. Now we play the second string open. Now we go up to the third string on the seventh fret. Now go up again to the eleventh fret of the, no, I'm sorry, the thirteenth fret of the second string. 
and I played that as a harmonic, so it rings out better, but you could also just play it as a note. So we start off on the second string here of the the 11th fret of the second string with our index finger and hammer on with our wing finger to the 13th fret. Now slide our wing finger up to the uh, 15th fret. Now pull off to the 13th fret. Now um, on the first string now we come to the 10th fret, play that, hammer on with our pinky on the 13th fret. Pull off with our pinky to the eleventh fret, which is now play, which is now fretted by our middle finger. So now play our index finger here again. Now resolving to the thirteenth fret here on the um, the second string. Now coming up on the fifteenth fret of the first string. Pull off to the 13th fret, or you could just pick that. And then we come to the 15th fret of the 2nd string, hammer on to the 16th. Now play the 18th fret here with your pinky, and pull off back down to your index finger here on the 15th fret. Now take our index finger, slide down all the way down to the 11th fret and slide down again to the 8th fret. So, so far we have... Now we play this again. Uh, hammer on or pick uh, the 11th fret here on the same string. Slide that up to the 15th fret of the second string and bar your pinky here or your ring finger if you're using your ring finger to the first string and play the 15th fret on the first string. And keep in mind, I wrote this on my electric guitar. Well, transposed, I should say. So after that, we play the 15th fret of the 1st string once more. Now play the 13th fret of the 1st string. Now hop down to the 2nd uh, string. Now play the 16th fret with your pinky and pull off to the 15th with your ring finger. And play this note again. Now slide down to the 11 and then hammer on with your ring finger to the 13 once more. Now play the uh, 15th fret here on the, on the first string. Now just repeat that. But instead of going here, we slide up to the 15 on the 2nd string, now play the 11 on the 2nd string, and now the 8 on the 2nd string. Beautiful change. And very depressing as well. Now we do pretty much what we just did, but on the lower strings now. So, we never really go back up when we do that change, so keeping our index finger here. We play this note again. Now play the 10th fret on the 3rd string. Now play the 10th fret on the 4th string. 8 on the 3rd string. Slide down to the 7th. Now play that 10 on the 4th string again. Now play the 8 on the 4th string. Slide up to the 10th. Now here is where I throw in a little fancy pinch harmonic on electric guitar, but since we're on acoustic we can't really do that, so just play the 8th fret on the 2nd string here. So far we have... And just repeat that. And we 
resolve on that fourth string. So to end this masterpiece of a song, we come back down here on the fretboard and play three chords. We play this chord, which is our C minor. We play this, which is a B flat major. And we finally play our full C minor. And specifically what these chords are is this is just your baby C minor chord. We have a ring finger on the fifth the fifth fret of the fourth string. Our pinky here right below on the third string. Our middle finger on the fourth fret now on the second string. And our first finger here on the third fret of the first string. Now we play our A major, but instead of playing it like this, we have to bar it with our first finger so that we can reach up here with our pinky. So we play that, but then reach with your pinky to the sixth fret of the first string. So you can play it like that. And I suppose if that's kind of a difficult stretch for you, you could, yeah, you could play up here in this kind of F uh, shape. But I play it like this. And then we finally resolve to our full C minor bar chord. Very powerful, I love it. Good stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you watched part one and part two and you've made it this far, well, I hope I helped you in at least a small way. And if you have any feedback or comments, leave it in the, in the comments. And uh, yeah, this was my first tutorial I've ever done, so I'm hoping to improve in the future. And uh, yeah, the doctor is out. <laughs>